So I would like to pose this question to you guys. Let's say, remember, I, unless I have proof, it doesn't matter what my mom says, remember, only proof matters to me, okay? Let's suppose that my mother passed her IME with flying colors, or at least thinks she did, based on what the doctor said to her, okay? Let's just suppose that. We're going to be hypothetical here. Now, if she passed this IME with flying colors, does that mean that the case is going to be automatically dismissed? Because like I told my mom, unless I get something in writing that the elder abuse facts have backed off, because remember, if, if they decide that they don't want to pursue this anymore, it ends like that. There'll be no need for my summer to be ruined and, and for me to go another three months wondering, you know what I mean? But I just, unless you give me something in writing, I'm not going to believe it, you know? My mom can believe what she wants. I just don't know. If you think think about these elder abuse facts. They haven't let go. They've been like a dog with a bone like vultures all along. Will they let it go if my mom passes passed if she passed it with flying colors? Do I know that she passed it with flying colors? No. Again, I would have to get proof in the mail. Proof. You know what I mean? Because even if the doctor says to her, well, you won't have to go to court in September. No, yes, you will have to go to court in September unless we get something official in writing that the case has been dropped. What will I do if that happens? I'll be relieved for sure. Again, the damage is done, in, psychologically speaking, to me. You know what I mean? I'm in a constant state of panic and anxiety, etc., etc., etc. I don't know. I'm, you know, the night before the IME was to take place, I re I told, I called the lawyer and left a message that I was going to report it at the, the National Bar Association. You no, know? because I don't care. Even if my mom, it doesn't matter. Even if my mom did pass it, but the lawyer had no right to not consult with my mom and to have it be last minute like that and just to do it like that and to it's so important and you know what I mean. So and have my mom be all, you know, she was all nerve wracked she was all upset, I was all upset. You know, something that seriously upsets you, that somebody clearly did wrong, even if the end it turns out okay, that's not the point. That's not the point, people, okay? So, I don't know, I have nothing to, I have nothing to say. If I find out anything definitive, like, you know I'll be coming out here and saying, you know, it's been dropped, it's over, we're safe, my family's safe, we're free, yada, yada, whatever. But that hasn't happened, so I have nothing to say, you know, that's it. That's all I can say, because it, that's the only proof I'll have. I don't care if my mom passed the thing with flying colors, if we still have to go, go to court three months from now. Like I said, that's another three months of me being in constant anxiety and feelings of dread, etc., etc. So the only thing that's going to ease my mind or make me feel better is if it's officially like, you know, we get a thing in the mail that it's dropped, that's it. It's, it's over with, you know. Anything less won't, won't give me any peace of mind.
nothing to say. It doesn't matter. My mom can be optimistic. She can think this. She can think that. Unless I have proof, my fears are not going to dissipate one iota. Certainly when I, not when I wasn't here and based on my mom, who, you know, made no. Give me proof. Give me proof in the mail. It's been dismissed. And, you know, and there we go. Anything less? No. And I still want a copy of all four hearings from my own record. is a lack of sex and affection in my life. 